My suggestion is go from circuit to table and then to diagram and vice versa as you go. Um, so in this case, I've got two different flip-flops labeled one and two. And I've got one input. So how many state bits do I have? Four. I have four states. How many bits? Two. 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 Right. So when I'm making my table up, I've got, I'm going to just label it as S um, appropriately, two and one. So state two, state one, and then I've got an input X. So I've got state zero, zero, state zero, one, state one, zero, state one, one. 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. Uh, so this is my current state 2 and state 1. And then I also need to get my next one. So I'll put a little N in front of them to indicate next version of the state. And I need an output Y. I could care less. You could all sit on the carpet if you wanted. All right. Do we all feel good so far? How far does your camera reach? I don't want to walk out of your drawing board. Oh, that's why I'm moving. I'll keep moving oh, it around. Okay. All right. We feel okay with how we've set the table up and why we set the table up. So all we're going to do is now make these assumptions that these are the current states. We'll start with 0, 0. So we're saying this is 0 and this is 0. Clear. So that means these are both 1s because it's the prime version. And first off, we're saying our input here is 0, which means just carrying the wires around. That's a 0. This is a 0. This is a 1. Um, this is a 0 here. This is a 0, 0. And then we just work through it and see what happens. Now, temporarily, I'm going to figure out what J and K is. So I'm going to slightly add on, just kind of like a little scratch column for myself, of what is J and what is K. And then we're going to have to use what we know about JK flip-flops to determine what the next state is. Okay, so I've got zero exclusive or zero, which gives me... 0, x or 0. x or only gives you a 1 if they're different. All right. That's the whole thing, odd numbers. So they're both the same, so it's 0. 0, x or 1. Zero negated. All right, so first I have to calculate this or. Zero or one. One. <laughs> I mean, you're trust me, it's nine o'clock in the morning and you're all seated. Uh, and if, if I just walk up here and start reading numbers off and saying this is this, all of you are going to be like this in like five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> and it will do you no good. At least if you're trying to answer them, you'll probably last a good 15 minutes before calling it out. Unless you have coffee, in which case you'll probably last for a while. Right? Okay, so right here, I've got negated inputs into an OR. The easiest way to do it is just flip the things coming into it and then just use OR. So zero negated is one. And one negated is zero. So I've got a 1 or 0. 1. So this is J and K for 2, and then we need a J and K for 1. And we had 1 and 1. Now, how do we go from these J's to what the next state is? <coughs> 
which table? There's two tables for every flip-flop. There's a characteristic table, and there's the excitation table. Excitation table. Yes, because excitation tables let you build things, and that's much more exciting. <laughs> right? Right, it's stupid, but it's rememberable. So, J, K, S, zeros, one, zero, one. Right? When it's, they're both zero, it means stay the same. Right? So my next state is my current state. Right? So we think of these as set and reset. So if I'm resetting, I go to zero. If I'm setting, I go to one. And if they're both ones, I toggle. So we have every type of flip-flop in here. In the middle, you got a D flip-flop as we go. Oh, if you consider the upper three, you've got an SR flip-flop. If you can take the outside ones, you've got a T flip-flop. It's every flip-flop you ever wanted. All right, so we look at what we've got for JK. For the first one, I have a zero, 01. So what's going to happen to state 2 because it's zero, 01? Look on the table, 0, 1 to, says my next state is? Zero. 0. Then I've got a 1, 1, right? which tells it it's going to be 1, because it's the prime of this. There we go. And we still have 0, x or 0, so my y is? Zero. Okay, so I filled in the first line. And now I come in and I flip x to 1. So potentially any of this could change. All right, 0 XOR 1 is? 1. 1 XOR 1 is? 0. 0. So I've got a 1, 0 for the next one, which 1, 0 tells me 1. Okay, 1 negated? 0. 0. zero. <coughs> All right, um, 1 or 1 is 1. So 1 negated is 0, 1 negated is 0 or 0, 0. So I got two zeros, which means nothing happens. Stay the same. Yeah. And right now it's a 0. My outputs are still both 0. So it's 0, x, or 0, it's still 0. Yeah. The question for this is figure out what y is in or just create the table? Um, we have to create the diagram. <coughs> and I said it's easier to go from the circuit to the table, table to the diagram. Okay. All right, good so far? So now we're going to switch to the next one, which is 0, 1. Now, we'll try to speed this up a little bit. Right? We've done a few of these. Hopefully, you guys are thinking about what we have to do in this case. Can you tell me in advance, is this Mealy or more? I'm looking at this diagram. Can you explain why, how you know that? Um.